Hi there viewers, this is Glebro Junction and this is the August update. Uh, I know I've done an update recently, um, it was um, just a short update really, and, um, there wasn't much going on so not much was shown in the last video so um, I thought I'd do another one because I have been quite busy over the last couple of weeks um, building the station and the, the road bridge as well as the walkway and uh, the new TMD or the small TMD that runs alongside the station so a few things have been done and almost complete so um, we'll have a look now okay so first of all I uh, just thought I'd show you this this gantry the signal gantry uh, these have been scratch built uh, using um, brass metal uh, I've done two of these one down this end of the platform and one on the other, pla other, other platform down the other end um, they're almost complete just got to weather them up uh, they've only been primed at the moment, just got to add the, the uh, signal heads to them as well and then obviously they should uh, should look the part, fingers crossed. Um, okay, as most of you will probably have seen in the last video, um, here's my new road bridge that goes across the uh, the platforms. Now this has all been completely scratch built out of, um, out of plastic card, 30 valve plastic card and embossed uh, plastic card brick sheets and various other bits of plastic and then obviously um, primed and painted and weathered with the airbrush and the, the, the bridge itself is is more or less complete um, the only thing that's got to be added to it are the, uh, the street lights um, but as you can see it's, um, it's more or less getting there um, the paths were made out of 30 foul Sorry, the, the actual pass was made out of 50 foul plastic card and then scribed uh, with an alpha scriber, which I think I went into in the last video. Um, and then I've just painted them uh, with a dry brush uh, method. I think I, I painted them over about a week with different colours. And, and then obviously that's the colour it, it comes out at. Um, the station itself is, is almost complete. I've um, still got the interior lighting to, to add and around the other side of it. Um, I've still got the uh, the station, um, the Glebe Road sign to go on the front and uh, a few other bits and pieces but as you can see it's, it is almost there um, and if you can see inside I've got a couple of escalators that go up so there's some uh, seats and ticket office so there is some interior in there as well um, it's not major it's just a, a little bit just so it didn't look so bland um, the other thing I've done as well is Obviously, this this footbridge, this again is is completely scratch built out of plastic card, and it's taken me quite a while to do. Um, but now I'm getting more confident with the scratch building. Um, things are starting to turn out a little bit a little bit better now. Um, again, this is all all used, um, all built using 30 foul plastic card, and then all the rivets that you can see, um, you can buy them on a sheet from uh, Slate's plastic card, and you just cut them up and add them on. Um, and as you can see. It's all been painted up and weathered as well using the airbrush so I think that running alongside the uh, the road bridge I think it gives it a nice effect now, I've only seen this in one place and obviously this is like a mock-up copy of um, a station down in London called Hendon station um, I got the idea um, it's parts of the, the actual station building are similar uh, so is the, the footbridge although theirs is different mine is just, I've nicked the idea and obviously made it my own and um, I think it's turned out quite well I'm quite pleased with it um, panning around um, this building over here is actually a multi-story car park um, which isn't completed yet I've still got the uh, multi-story signage to put on there um, but most of it is done the footpath, uh, the fence. This is obviously the bus stop outside, um, and obviously the roadway and everything else is done. I've got the barriers. I've still got all the decals and and stickers and everything to add onto this multi-story car park. In the middle there is going to be like a, a little shop, um, news agents of some kind, and obviously the uh, the head signs got to be added onto that as well. Um, so as you can see, I'm just starting to work my way down this platform um, just got to add some more lights and stuff like that and up here um, is my next job uh, which is the river scene now it's, it's almost ready to uh, for the re realistic water to be added I've just got all the static grass and um, 
rocks and stuff like that to go in the water so um, once I've done all that I've got to touch up with white paint as well in there but I mean once that's, that's um, been touched up I can then add the realistic water and then really really make it heavily overgrown with with bushes and weeds and stuff like that um, these billboards I'm not sure whether they're gonna go whether they'll both go there or one will just go there or not um, but it'll be higher up and then just have the trees behind it I'm not sure just yet but um, that, that's the idea so um, that, that idea was actually nicked from um, Banbury N-Gage layout, uh, although not the same, but uh, I like the way he's looked on his layout, so I, I stole the idea and then just made it different. Um, obviously there's the other gantry that I've built, uh, and the signal head's obviously still to be added uh, onto that. And then obviously I'm just uh, working my way, way around to this, this platform here as well. Uh, the yellow line still needs to be added, and then the, uh, the station area, Apart from the, the lights, um, I've still got street lights to add and decals. And once that's done and I've populated the, the platforms, the station should more or less be done completely. Okay, so first of all, I uh, just thought I'd show you this, this gantry, the signal gantry. Uh, these have been scratch built uh, using um, brass metal. Uh, I've done two of these, one down this end of the platform and one on the other, pla other, other platform down the other end. Um, they're almost complete, just got to weather them up, uh, they've only been primed at the moment, just got to add the, the uh, signal heads to them as well, and then obviously they should uh, should look the part, fingers crossed. Um, okay, as most of you will probably have seen in the last video, um, here's my new road bridge that goes across the, uh, the platforms. Now this has all been completely scratch built out of, um, out of plastic card, 30 foul plastic card, and embossed uh, plastic card brick sheets and various other bits of plastic and then obviously um, primed and painted and weathered with the airbrush and the, the, the bridge itself is is more or less complete um, the only thing that's got to be added to it are the, uh, the street lights um, but as you can see it's, um, it's more or less getting there um, the paths were made out of 30 foul Sorry, the, the actual pass was made out of 50 foul plastic card and then scribed uh, with an alpha scriber, which I think I went into in the last video. Um, and then I've just painted them uh, with a dry brush uh, method. I think I, I painted them over about a week with different colours. And, and then obviously that's the colour it comes out at. Um, the station itself is, is almost complete. I've um, still got the interior lighting to, to add and around the other side of it. Um, I've still got the uh, the station, um, the Glebe Road sign to go on the front and uh, a few other bits and pieces but as you can see it's, it is almost there um, and if you can see inside I've got a couple of escalators that go up so there's some uh, seats and ticket office so there is some interior in there as well um, it's not major it's just a, a little bit just so it didn't look so bland um, the other thing I've done as well is Obviously this, this footbridge, this again is, is completely scratch built out of plastic card and it's taken me quite a while to do. Um, but now I'm getting more confident with the scratch building. Um, things are starting to turn out a little bit, a little bit better now. Um, again this is all, all used, um, all built using 30 foul plastic card and then all the rivets that you can see. Um, you can buy them on a sheet from uh, Slate's plastic card and you just cut them up and add them on. Um, and as you can see it's all been painted up and weathered as well using the airbrush so I think that running alongside the uh, the road bridge I think it gives it a nice effect now I've only seen this in one place and obviously this is like a mock-up copy of um, a station down in London called Hendon station um, I've got the idea um, it's parts of the, the actual station building are similar uh, so is the, the footbridge although theirs is different mine is just, uh, I've nicked the idea and obviously made it my own and um, I think it's turned out quite well I'm quite pleased with it um, panning around um, this building over here is actually a multi-story car park um, which isn't completed yet I've still got the uh, multi-story signage to put on there um, but most of it is done the footpath, uh, the fence. This is obviously the bus stop outside, um, and obviously the roadway and everything else is done. I've got the barriers. I've still got all the decals and 
and stickers and everything to add onto this multi-storey car park. In the middle there is going to be like a, a little shop, um, news agents of some kind, and obviously the uh, the head sign's got to be added onto that as well. Um, so as you can see, I'm just starting to work my way down this platform. Um, just got to add some more lights and stuff like that. And up here um, is my next job, uh, which is the river scene. Now it's it's almost ready to. Uh, for the realistic water to be added, I've just got all the static grass and um, rocks and stuff like that to go in the water. So um, once I've done all that, I've got to touch it up with white paint as well in there. But I mean, once that's that's um, been touched up, I can then add the realistic water and then really really make it heavily overgrown with with bushes and weeds and stuff like that. Um, these billboards, I'm not sure whether they're going to go whether they'll both go there or one will just go there or not um, but it'll be higher up and then just have the trees behind it I'm not sure just yet but um, that, that's the idea so um, that, that idea was actually nicked from um, Banbury N-Gage layout uh, although not the same but uh, I like the way he's looked on his layout so I, I stole the idea and then just made it different um, obviously there's the other gantry that I've built and the signal heads obviously still to be added uh, onto that and then obviously I'm just uh, working my way way around to this this platform here as well uh, the yellow line still needs to be added and then the uh, the station area apart from the the lights um, I've still got street lights to add and decals and once that's done and I've populated the the platforms the station should more or less be done completely okay so the uh, the next thing I've been doing is the uh, the small TMD or fuel in yard and as you can see, it's now completed. Um, what I've done is I've added, I, I had this uh, kit built, building for a while, it's just plastic, but I think it's Pike stuff kit. And um, I've, I've repainted it and, and weathered it. I've still got to add the glass and um, uh, signage, anything still needs to be added to it. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's almost ready to go. Um, the fueling yard itself is more or less completed everything is done uh, the, the obviously the tracks fixed down the, the droppers have been added I've still got to add the droppers to the bus wire but as it, as it is it still works at the moment but I will be adding them once I've uh, get around to doing the lighting because all the all these yard lights that you can see at the back and, and at the front here they're all in place but I haven't wired them up um, including this one here but the, that's my next job the um, the wash plants you as you can see I've added in as well and I've added uh, a light the interior light to it so it, it lights up quite nicely um, and what I've done is I've added the uh, the wash plant onto uh, onto concrete and then I've just uh, finished off the uh, the fueling plant as you can see it's all, all, all put down now with uh, lighting underneath the canopy as well and um, and then obviously I've added all the bits and pieces, all the parts, and then weathered it along with the track. I weathered it all, and um, and then I've added uh, static grass in, in different places. Now these these two lines here, the one on the left and the one on the right, are um, are the, the two main lines for for the fueling plant and and the wash washing plant. And then this third line is just a little siding, just for a, an 08 and it's my 03 when I ever get it out of the box. I've had uh, BR Blue Class 03 for months and I've never got out of the box so that's one of my other things I need to get out um, and then obviously just added the buffer stop at the back over there overgrown where the Class 31 is and again here on this short siding and then I've got a uh, I think it's a VGA van in there uh, being loaded whether this is going to be a warehouse or not I don't know I'm, I'm undecided um, and then obviously the car park which is, is more or less done. I've just got to weather the uh, the concrete a little bit more, and then that's just almost completed. And and then just a little yard, network rail yard for all their plant machinery, and uh, double port cabin and all their bits and pieces. And then obviously the security fence at the back. So if I pan out, you could probably get a better look of how it now looks. And as you can see. Just outside the station, it don't look too bad, it looks quite good, quite pleased with it. 
I say the uh, it, this it is almost complete apart from the signage and the electrics, the bus wire and the lights are the, uh, the last things to be added. And as you can see from over here with the uh, station and the multi-store in the background, it looks quite good. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'm glad I added this this extra part. Um, but this is only a small TMD. I will be building uh, a larger, much, much larger TMD around the other side, which will be holding like DMUs and, and stuff like that and HSTs when I ever get my hands on one. Um, and mainly um, maintenance shed for, for the diesels. And that will be all that's going to be on the other side. It's just a large TMD, um, maybe a, a long viaduct. But behind that will obviously be a uh, fiddle yard. But there's, it's not going to leave me much space for uh, any scenic stuff. But um, just want to get all these little bits and pieces done down this side of the layout, and it is almost done. Apart from the electrics, uh, signal heads, uh, lights, and, and finishing off the bus wire, this is almost done. And obviously, I've got to add the realistic water. And then what I can do next is, once I've completed this off, I've made a list of the little jobs that I've got left to do, and I've got, I'm going to be doing all of those before I start this side because um, I think I said in my last update. This is now going to be a town scene and it is a mess but I'm working my way around and I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it looks. Um, the one thing I didn't do which I wanted to do is um, this section down the end of the station here obviously it's just four lines. Now I didn't really have the space to add all the points and everything but I, I've, I'm now regretting not adding the points down there. so what I might do is just rip up from the uh, end of the platforms here might just rip up that part of the track and then add all my points that I've got add them all in there and then re-ballast them and, and re, uh, re weather it all um, just so I've got a section there and it looks like a major junction otherwise the name Glebro Junction is just a, a false name so that's probably one of my next jobs that I'm going to be doing I'm not sure about that um, it's going to be a bit of a task but you have to let me know what you think uh, leave any comments and uh, let me know whether you think it's, it's worth doing it is going to be a major job, but I think it will enhance the layout and make it look a lot better than what it does now. It just looks like I've just got four lines with no no um, no points on the layout at all. But that's it. That is um, that is my layout update, and hopefully you'll all be uh, all be impressed with the, the small TMD that I've built. I, I'm impressed with it, and the uh, and the obviously the bridge and the station. Um, if there's anything that you think I've left out, uh, anything you think I can add to make it look better, please add the comments. And um, and hopefully on the next update, which probably won't be for another month or two now, I should have made a start on the uh, on the town scene. Or at least I would have had the uh, the wood put down ready for the track to be laid. And I can get the Turner's Depot back up and running because at the moment it's just uh, it's just a mess because I've just thrown everything on there. So. That's it for my update. Um, please leave a comment and um, subscribe if you haven't. And um, I'll have another update for you again soon. Cheers for now. Bye.